Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, you're going to be checking out a very amazing video. The video that I know I'm expected to check out. Guys, this is going to be if our religion believes in one God, then why do we need to convert Dr. Zakinag in Qatar? Guys, I think I'm going to have a lot of my, not my own opinion, but opinion based on facts about people. So, not about people do Christianity and all guys, let's get straight into this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe, believing beings, and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Yes, brother, name and your profession. Yeah, my name is Jitendra. I am a software engineer. I have a question. Uh, like you said, all religion scriptures are uh, giving same message that there are only one God. Then why we need to be convert in a other religion? We can't understand our own religion and follow this thing. Why need to be convert? Brothers asked a very good question. Brothers asked a very intelligent question that if all the religions speak about one God, then why do you have to convert? Yeah. If all religions because are the Allah same. converting from Christianity to Hinduism. Very good question. Hinduism to Christianity that's, or Islam. That's what the Quran says. Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the Dina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of our Almighty God is to submit your will to God. There, God Almighty sent only one religion. All the messengers preached only one religion. But when they preached the religion, the human beings kept on changing it. The Guys, to be honest, I don't think any messenger preached a religion they were all after you worshiping god you giving god your all you being honest you being truthful you obeying the commandments i don't think they actually preached a religion they only teach you pray to god always pray to god in secret not in open like don't tell people you are praying so people can feel you are spiritual and all but i don't think any prophet actually preached a religion i know moses didn't jesus didn't abraham didn't preach a religion but they prayed to god and i know jesus message was like pray to god your father at all times so i don't think they preached a religion guys i may be wrong guys educate me in the comment section like we are learning in this channel and this is for educational purpose so Let's be interactive. Guys, let's get straight back into this. The moment the scriptures got corrupted, Almighty God sent a new messenger and a new religion. All messengers taught the same thing. There is one God. Don't do idol worship. Believe in him. As it kept on changing, then Almighty God sent the final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. All the messengers from Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all, all taught the same thing. Then Almighty God says in the Quran, in Surah Hijar, chapter number 15, verse number 9, we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard it from corruption. Now Almighty God takes it upon himself that this last and final revelation, the Quran, no one can change.
Guys, we need to check it out. Guys, like, let's just get straight into it because I I can say this isn't talking about Prophet Muhammad, but I can say it's talking about Prophet Muhammad. It's just intertwined. Like you you just, I'm not trying to like stop it from being true, but I'm just saying there's a possibility of it talking about Muhammad, and there's still a possibility of it not talking about him. So for the fact that the Bible says a prophet doesn't mean it's talking about Muhammad. And it's trying to explain, if you read the verse for that, it's actually saying that if it comes to pass, then I'm the one that said it. But if it does not come to pass, then the prophet is speaking by his own will. And if the prophet does not say exactly what I tell him, he shall die. So it's kind of... Guys, let's get back into this. <laughs> Guys, say Sound of Solomon chapter 5, verse 16. Like, I feel if he's saying this, he should read it. 5, verse 16. His mouth is most sweet, yea. He is altogether lovely. This is my beloved. This is my friend. Oh, daughter of Jerusalem. Then, guys, but well, to be honest, this isn't... I know, I think probably Mohammed's name is actually means altogether lovely, but this... I don't know. He's trying to pick some words and, like, transform it. It's, I feel what he's doing here is it's not just what he's supposed to do. Like, for you to say this passage... Like, let's be honest. If this person was actually talking about Prophet Muhammad, like, the context is supposed to talk about him. Like, you just can't pick out a verse. And this is not how the Bible is read. Like, I don't know about the Quran, but, like, the Bible is read based on context, not just a verse. So, him saying just a verse, because... He is altogether lovely. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. You see, even in the verse, O daughters of Jerusalem, this does not. I, I, I think I'm talking to logical people here that think like that can read by themselves and see that this is not actually talking about Prophet Muhammad. Like, I'm not saying this to like hate or like try to see Prophet Muhammad was not prophesying the Bible or anything like that, but like based on the facts he have given, like I've person like i myself won't take this as is talking about prophet muhammad because it's not i feel to counter my opinion or oh, this is actually what i said like this is what i read and this is the truth i can see but guess sometimes we are blind so i can say maybe i'm reading this wrong but you are free to counter me in the comment section guys let's get straight back into this Guys, you know what? I can say the Bible never said talk to anything about the last and final messenger. <laughs> Sorry, but Jesus actually said he's going to go. If he does not go, the comforter won't come. And we Christians, we Christians, but let me just remove myself from the table, guys. Like Christians, this is actually for education of people. So please don't get annoyed when I speak like this. 
please i i sorry but this is actually for educational purposes i'm not trying to be disrespectful to anyone i'm just trying to say things the way <coughs> shit sorry i'm just trying to say things the way i and a lot of people say it and i feel we sharing our opinion in the comment section actually brings light to it but i feel no one should read the conversation with a closed heart be open the one watching this i'm open i can tell you i'm open and it depends on how I get some comments today. I think I won't react in Muslim video again. But let that aside. But him saying the comforter, the comforter in the Bible, and the way we Christians say the comforter is actually the Holy Spirit. Because if you read about the story very, very well, when Jesus ascended to heaven, the, the disciples were in the upper room praying. Then the Holy Spirit came upon them. Like the room was filled with the Holy Spirit, like the energy you can feel it, and fires were on top of your head. These were things people saw. These were not things that were just written. Like people, like different people saw this. Like it's a miracle, and it was written over time in different books. So you can't just see different people just choose to lie about that stuff. And fires were on your head, and they were speaking in other languages that people there could understand because it was a festival so i feel you saying no i don't i i don't think people trying to deny the holy spirit is right because i feel most Muslims don't believe in the holy spirit and i feel it's not true like you trying to like deny the holy spirit is not actually right and what's still shocking that people believe that jesus didn't die like that that shit is crazy Oh, I, I can say Jesus didn't die in a sense because he died and resurrected. So he, he's still alive. But, but him dying was actually him fulfilling the message, like the message of God. Like that's why he is the Messiah. Because I know a lot of people believe Jesus is the Messiah. And that's why I can say he is the Messiah. Because if he didn't die, why is he the Messiah? Like why would you call him the Messiah, if he didn't die for our sins. Like, he was the one that implemented grace. Because if not, if he was still supposed to be killing cartoons, cow, and stuff to date, but we don't. Except people who are, I think, practicing some traditional rituals and stuff, but a lot of us who believe in God don't do those things. We believe that God sees our heart. We believe that God, when we help people, like, it, it brings us closer to God. It's like helping God in a way when you give something to the poor. Like God's love when someone is humble. Like you need to be humble and give it. I was reading the Bible because I told you guys, I'm going through the journey. I'm reading the Bible like I want to be educated. So sometimes when I'm talking, I know, yes, this is what I know. And I was reading the Bible and I got to a point when Jesus said, it would be very hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Why he said that? I feel why he said that because some rich people have pride. Like, because he told the guy, the man, to sell his things and give it to the poor. But, like, I have worked for this. Like, that kind of pride. But, guys, let's get back into this. One God is one God part. Is, no, one God is one only, is Allah, or you can say Om, or you can say Brahma, whatever. Um, whatever, but don't message, give it yeah. wrong name. Don't give it image. Anything you cannot it's say to God. It's not image. It's not, Par Brahma is not image. You Sorry? Can't, if you call Par Brahma, you Brahma. can't say any, uh -huh, Par Brahma. How is Brahma? Brahma means you don't imagine what is the thing. Okay, how does Brahma look? Have you seen photograph of Brahma? No, nothing. Not seen. Because I've seen photograph of Brahma. Not Brahma. Par Brahma means Brahma means is Brahman. Uh, Brahma means it's Brahma. The, par Brahma means Par Brahma. It carries Brahma, the, the creator of this world. We do, we don't we can't imagine this power. We can't imagine these things. How and uh, how he is looking. So we can't imagine his face and other things. His power even you can't imagine. So how you can imagine face and other things? So that Allah or Omkar you say that uh, uh, I don't know much. But Omkar means it's a single half one. Half what you're saying is right, half what you're saying is wrong. Because okay. today, uh -huh. today, I then if talking about brother, the Muhammad, brother, no, just today, if you me, then today I... when you ask any Muslim what is the image of Allah, he will not say anything. But when you ask a Hindu what is the image of Brahma, he will tell you. 
Brahma has got four heads on each head ah, of the crown. Brahma and Parabrahma, both are different that things. No? Brahm, if you have Brahma, you cannot have Parabrahma. I am not talking about Brahma. Is the you cannot have Parabrahma. Brahma. You cannot have Parabrahma. Why? Parabrahma. Parabrahma you cannot have because it is an superlative. You cannot have superlative for God. You understand? Brahma, Parabrahma means superior to Brahma, correct? Parabrahma means pare, means which you can't think about your imagination. I know it, brother. Yeah. All these words, so many of no. these words are wrong. Some words are correct. Therefore, don't use a wrong terminology for God. Your knowledge is limited, correct? My That's the reason limited. if your knowledge is limited, sometimes you give a name to Almighty God and make an image of that. Like Vishnu, <laughs> they make an image. That tribute is good. Attribute is good sustainer, we agree with it. But yeah. giving an image, we disagree with it. That's the reason what you have to realize. You cannot go against the concept of the pure definition of God. That God has got no image, correct? Yeah. Coming to the second part. You said you have not done research. I'm asking you go and do research. I'm giving you references now. Okay. I give you so many references. You heard the references? Yeah. Or you go to my site, Zakir Naik. Mm -hmm. in Hindu scriptures, all the references are there. You check it up. It's, it's available in my library. You know, I have a library of Hindu books and Christian books in Dongri in Bombay. It's all there. You go on the net. It's very clearly mentioned that the last and final messenger, the last and final avatar, the Kalki avatar is no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, then he's a messenger like a saint, right? <coughs> Sorry? Uh, he's a son, saint. Uh, Sant, you can say. No, Sant, Autar, Kalki Autar. Autar has Autar. got two meanings. One meaning of Autar, what people think, is Almighty God coming in bodily form, which is wrong. That is the definition in the Oxford Dictionary. Au, coming from Tra, means God sending someone. So if you say that God is sending someone, meaning a messenger, we agree with it. And the last and final Autar is the Kalki Autar. So my request to you is, that besides believing in one God, besides agreeing he has got no idols, you also have to believe in the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I have given a talk on similarity between Islam and Hinduism. It's further mentioned in the Hindu scripture that you should not have alcohol, that you should not gamble. It's mentioned that the women should wear hijab. They should draw the head covering over the, over the head, over the bosom. All this is mentioned that you should not gamble. Same thing mentioned in the Quran, should not have alcohol, should not gamble. It's mentioned that you should do hijab. So if you hear my talk on similarities between Islam and Hinduism, and let us agree to follow what is common. We will, problem is, you talk about unity, but you don't want to follow. Who's to blame? You take me anything in the Quran, which matches with your way that I will follow. Anything in the Quran. Give reference number, chapter number, verse number, Dr. Zakir Naik will follow. Marat ka bacha. Right or wrong? I'm challenging you, anything you open your Quran with the translation, Dr. Zakir Naik, your Quran chapter number 5, verse number so and so, I will follow. I will not say, I will see, I will check, immediately I will follow. I know, you are a, obviously a scholar, I am not, not a I'm scholar. I'm not a scholar, I'm a student. Okay, I'm a student. a student, but even I'm not a student, even if I have started to learn about this thing. So become a but student, when will, you be, when will you? No, I have just a simple question asked when all the scriptures are saying the same See, thing. See, when the haq is there, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, will you say I'll check up and then believe? 2 plus 2 is how much, brother? 2 plus 2 is how much? 2 plus 2 is how much? 4 only. 4. Do you believe in that? Yeah. Or will you say I'll check up now? No. At the main basis of life, your creator, you want to check up. And two plus two is equal to four, you believe. This is the problem with us human beings. Our creator is there. Once you know, you should accept. No, what will my father say? What will my mother say? What will my neighbor say? What will my wife say? We think 20 things. If your father says two plus two is equal to five, will you believe? No. But your father says, oh, don't read the Quran, then you don't read. No, no, I'm not saying to reading any books, uh, in Quran or Holy, Holy Scriptures, all can read and they can believe. But there's no need to conversion from one to the other. If, you're, if I'm conversion... You don't have to convert, you have to revert. There's nothing like convert. Convert means you go from one track to the other track. 
It's mentioned by the beloved Prophet. Every child was born in Deen al Fitr. Deen al Fitr means accepting the God's commandment. When, when you grow up, you start doing idol worship, you start doing fire worship, so you become a non Muslim. So when you come back to Islam, the right word is revert, it's not convert. What okay. is it? Revert. Re you're, you're coming saying. back to the original faith. No one is asking you to convert. And there's only one religion, religion of God. The religion yeah. Islam is submitting your will to God. I'm not telling you to go against God. <coughs> that submitting your will to God in Arabic is called as Muslim. In English it is called... Guys, <coughs> I'm just about to say, it. I'm not, I did this, I'm not even, I, I, I want to just say something. I just thought. And I'm watching this video, I thought of it. I want to ask some questions and I want some people to answer me in conversation. If you have stayed this long in my video and thank you actually. But do you believe that we are born sinners? We all know okay, I feel everybody believes in Adam and Eve watching this video. We all know Adam and Eve were cursed. And you know one once God cursed you, is there like <laughs> like when God said the man would toy the soil before he ate, and the woman would pass through pain before she gave birth. And that's this is the cause that have been there from generation to generation. It's still happening now. So and now you need to believe in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Because he is the Messiah. This is why we convert. Because well, he's talking about revert. And I'm thinking about what do Christians actually do? Like, that's why you kind of convert. No, not kind of. You convert from being a sinner to being a believer of God. You believe that there's one true God. You believe that you believe in the Trinity, which I personally think kind of have its own twist. But you believe in God. You believe that Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior. He came to die for your sins. Because that's the only reason why, like, he, he came to die for your sins. Like, so this is something that I know that no one on earth can actually prove to me. Like, there's no proof. Like, you, you can't tell me anything that Jesus didn't die. Like, it's something that no one can prove. Like, I, I dare you, prove it to me in the comment section. Just prove to me that Jesus didn't die. Like, prove it to me. Because I've had have this conversation with someone and he was like, explain this to me. Jesus said he came, Jesus' story was supposed to be that of Jonah. And Jonah was in the, I think a whale or a fish for, or a sea monster stomach for three days before he came out. And I can tell you, Jesus was in the heart of the earth for three days before he came out. You can search this on Google anywhere, like just search by yourself and Google the heart of the earth. The heart of the earth means that. So it's there like we we calculate the dates to AD and BC. Like Jesus left a very significant, like he was so significant on earth that we remember him to date. And we saying Jesus isn't that is just so so crazy. It messed with my head because I know I have searched for it myself. I have searched for it and I have made research. I have seen movies and I can tell you that Jesus actually died. And something that actually broke my heart was the first time when I read something about I read something about a book. No, not a book, a parable Jesus said about a faded tree and he wanted to cut, the master wanted to cut it down. The gardener was like, please don't cut it down. Just give it one more year and water it and see if the tree can produce fruit. And the person that was actually explaining was like, imagine the tree being you and Jesus is begging God not to kill you. Just so you can come back from the sin that he wants you to like he's asking God to give him more time and that really got to me and I I felt like crying my brother was like what's, what's wrong with you I was like nothing but 
I feel me being upright, being good, being good to myself. Because if you are good, like you feel more happy, you feel you feel more in the presence of God. And I can tell you, God speaks to me in different ways, and I have encountered it severally. And I can tell you, I know God for a fact. Like I can tell you, I know Him. Like it's sounds, I feel goosebumps right now, guys. But let's just continue with this. Okay. All the submitting your will to God. Give it any name, no problem. At least submit. We are afraid to submit. Now that lady was taught by the church something wrong. She's believing. What can I do? Blind belief. Yeah, then belief is one part. They are believing uh, our belief. Believing in wrong things. I'm giving with reference what I'm trying to tell you. Follow your scripture. Follow your scripture. Even though your scriptures have been distorted, at least let us follow what is common. Right or wrong? Yeah, common so, we follow, we follow beliefs, we do practice. So now will you go home and check about the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad in the Hindu scripture today? Uh, no. <laughs> you will not check up today? I will try, I will not, I can't say anything. What is the use? I can't commit. <laughs> what is the use? That means you are not much <laughs> What is the use? What is you are thinking? talking, uh, you are talking about uh, people should come to comment. No, it's not Why should we fight? I am telling don't fight, at least follow your scripture, you don't want to follow. Okay, I will. You are educated. You are a graduate, correct? Huh? Yeah. You are a. How much time you spend in, in, or studying all these subjects? I am telling you, go two hours on the internet. You don't want to go. Who's to blame you or me? You okay. tell me anything in the Quran. I will go and find out today. Ask, or not today? Now, just now. Tell me. I don't know about Quran. How can I ask? Because I want to follow the Quran. Okay, so suppose I am a, as a Hindu, I am practicing as a Hindu good, uh, as a good, uh, means You are not practicing as a good Hindu, I am a good ah, Hindu. I am not, I am not practicing. I am a good Hindu. No. no, Hindu means what? Hindu means coming from the Indus Valley, India. I am come from India. Okay. You live in Qatar. Okay. If you live in Qatar, you can't be a Hindu. You live in Qatar, no? No, I am also came from there only. <laughs> no, where do you live but now? Huh? Where right do you live now? now? I am living here. For ah, so now you are not a Hindu. Okay, whatever, whatever. Because Hindu means living in India. I live in India. Okay. I am coming here as a tourist to give lecture, correct? Yeah. So Hindu by definition means a person who lives in the land of Indus Valley civilization. Okay. So by definition I am a Hindu. This word was bought by the Arabs. Okay. Bought by the Arabs. Therefore when I go to Saudi they call me Hindi, Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> If I follow Sanatana, Dharma, what did they mention? Ah, that is what was said by Swami Vivekananda. Hinduism is a misnomer. The right okay. word should be Vedanta, should be Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana Dharma. But you're not following Sanatana Dharma also. Okay, I'm not yes, following. Sir. But what I'm saying, if I follow the Sanatana Dharma in a proper way, then at the time of if last... If you follow properly, you'll believe in one God, you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you won't have alcohol, you won't have pork, and all the ladies will start doing hijab. You and I will be one. Name no problem, correct? If you follow the Veda, if you follow Sanatana correctly, you and I would be one. Right or wrong? Yeah. But you don't want to go home and do research. What to do? Hmm? You don't want to go home and do research. No, I will do. I will go home and research. That is Inshallah. A... When you will do? Today? Tonight? Yeah, not today, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Inshallah. Yeah. I am here for a week. Huh? I am here for one week in Qatar. <laughs> yeah. Do research and we will meet again, Inshallah. Okay? Okay. Thank you, brother. Guys, I'm going to end this video, guys. As I can tell you, most of myself, I will keep on seeing this. And me reacting to these videos actually opened my eyes about Muslims. Like, I can tell you the religion is beautiful and those parts in the scene where it's beautiful. It's kind of similar to Christianity. In the sense that, I will tell you this, Christians don't eat. Some Christians. If you want to say it, okay, we are not advised to eat pork. We don't eat pork. We don't take alcohol. Huh? Our women are advised to tie their hair when they're going to church, but some don't because they don't. Not because the scriptures didn't tell them to, like, they don't. And if you're worshipping God with their heart, is what they're supposed to do. Their hair does not matter. But I'm just telling you based on what they do. Does not mean if someone is, I can say maybe a Muslim is maybe fornicating. And maybe I know five Muslims fornicating. 
does not mean Islam is wrong or the religion is wrong. As the person that is not chosen to follow the religion with his full heart. And there's a difference between you meeting someone not following the religion and you meeting the religion itself. Because most, okay, I can say some proportion of some proportion of terrorists are actually that they claim to be Muslims because they are not. Like if, you, if you are Muslim, you, you won't do such things. And they claim to be, because in my country, there are some people who claim to be Muslim and they kill Muslims. And it does not make sense. Because I feel you are just practicing a whole different thing. It's not close to what the book says you should do. And this is why I feel this preaching should reach everyone. Because if you want to follow the religion, it's kind of like, just that the Muslims don't believe that Jesus died for sins. And Christians don't believe that. I would say some Christians, because some Christians actually believe Muhammad was a prophet of God. This, I will tell you for a fact. If you want to ask some Christians, some honest Christians, they actually believe Muhammad was a prophet of God, but something happened along the way. But I don't know, I don't want to come to that, but guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. This video was long, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate, but I have to do me, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.